What I want to do is get back to Pythagoras and his fascination in triangles. Draw three kinds. I'll draw a triangle like this. And if I was to make a square, no, it's not. That was A squared, and this was B squared. A squared and B squared, to get those areas, are they bigger or smaller than C? Two added together is much bigger than that. The two together are much bigger than the one at the bottom. If I go down here and do this one, I won't do it quite so big. Here you can say A squared plus B squared greater than C squared. Do away with this now. But here it's quite clear that they are smaller than that. Those are two quite small. That's about a quarter of that. That's slightly more. So you could say that is a squared plus b squared is smaller than c squared. And so we have in the middle the right angle. The right angle. So Goldilocks has been here. We call this the right angle. And it ties in with a little song we had about left, right. It's not wrong, it's <laughs> left, right, wrong, right. Um, something about this right angle. This right angle between the acute and the obtuse. How would it fit in here? What if here from the acute, this was true, and for the obtuse, this was true. His question was, if it's a right, if it's a right angle, not obtuse, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's not bigger than, it's not less than, but it's equal. So, this question, so it becomes interesting, this question, the area that goes on the side of a triangle, putting squares there. Because with this one, with the lengths, two are always larger than the other one. But here there's a kind of dividing line. And now it's exploring this with squares. And we did a little bit of it last year. But one of the things you can, it's perhaps easier to pick, is if you were to draw, see all these on the floor here, are all the squares. Now imagine if those squares were all divided up, and this is what we can do, so I'll do it over here. See, each square had these diagonals breaking it up. And if I was to take a little triangle here, and you see it's got a right angle at the top where these two cross, I'd like you to draw that and see if you can draw a square that fits on there, a square that fits on that side, and a square that fits on this side. So just use a ruler and just go rule, 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 and put the other way, rule, 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 so you get nine squares like that, and then do the diagonals. So take a fresh piece of paper, and you can head it Pythagoras' theorem. Can you see that she's got that a square on one side. Somebody like to do the square, another square. Thank you. And to take a different color. 
Yeah. Right, thank you. And now, somebody like to outline a square on the last side. Okay. Just outline it this time. Just take another, take the white and or the yellow and make it stronger. Great. Now, I'm going to do something with this. So you already, Holly has sort of marked the center line down there of this one, that square. I'm actually going to do this one, even though I know it's not part of the thing there, but I can divide it into half. And I'm going to number these one, two, three, four. You see this four here? I can say, well, actually, if I put it on a railway track, and slid it down here. That's the same as this one here. Can you work out there's a place for each number? Can you work out where they go? Where does one go? Four. Number one is pointing upwards, so there's number one. Where's number two go? Here. There's three. Color them. If you want, you could even color all of those four in different colors and make the corresponding color there. And you can see quite visually that those two little squares actually fit inside the big square exactly and nothing left over. Yes, Matt? Um, the bottom square. Yeah. Why are the numbers the way they are? Why couldn't they be a different order? Yes, good question. Do you see the shape? Out of these, this is a vertical long line and pointing uh, east. East? East. Pointing west. Pointing up, pointing down. Here, triangle pointing up, that one. This one pointing down, so that has that, that's the connection. And you could use four colors or just highlight, it makes it more visible, the actual connection. So it's not just the number, but the color, it's a color coordinated as well.